Virgos, this is going to be for July 6th to the 15th. Keep in mind that this is general. That means not all the messages are going to resonate. And if you want something tailored just for you, link to book that reading is in the description box below. So keep in mind this could resonate vice versa. If I'm not picking up on your energy, it's anybody that's around you. So let's take a look and see what you guys can expect. First card that we have is the full nine of wands. Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Four of Pentacles. All right. So from what I'm seeing, you guys do have a lot of fire in your chart. If it's not a week of action. Um, it's most likely that you're dealing with the fire sign, Leo Aries Sag. But with the full, you're taking some sort of risk, wanting a new beginning, possibly needing to let go of all the burdens that you've been carrying, and just kind of have that lighthearted energy that the full does. You may be wishing upon a star specifically for one thing. And whatever this is that you're wishing for, it's going to take some time for it to come in. It could be up to two months. But you will receive some type of message, communication, some type of swift movement. Um, and this is also a warning not to make any rush decisions. This communication that you may receive may be something that you view as a negative connotation, but just know that um, everything depends on your perspective. Because with the Nine of Wands, you have been through a lot up until this point. You have persevered, possibly even gained some wounds from the, tri the trials and tribulations that you've been through, but just know that you are almost at the end of this cycle. With the Six of Wands, you are getting some type of recognition, some type of success, being on your high horse, getting that 15 minutes of fame, and I feel like people really have their eyes on you. Specifically, five people around you seem to look up to you and, you know, the things that you represent in their life, and I also feel that you need to focus on the things that bring you emotional fulfillment. Some of you, this is focusing more on family, on, you know, the choices that you make that are going to bring you the happiness that you seek. But with the Four of Pentacles, you also need to work on saving your money, holding back your time, effort, energy, um, holding back from people that don't serve you. So only give the same amount of time, effort, and energy to the people that give to you. Don't overextend yourself because you may not have, especially in the term, in form of money, um, don't overextend yourself with money because you may not have it right now. With the Queen of Swords in reverse, some of you are dealing with some type of feminine energy. This person could have um, air placements in their chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is a woman that currently has, or a man, that currently has their back turned towards you. So I feel some of you may have, may be having victory with some feminine energy. This is an individual that's very intelligent. They're cerebral focused. This person has been tempered through, you know, sorrow and the trials that they've been through life, but this is an individual that also does not take any nonsense or bullshit. On the other hand, some of you, this person has turned their back on you because of the fact that, you know, they feel like they're not getting what it is that they deserve in the connection that they have with you, whether this is a friendship, a relationship, some type of, like, close union. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been investing a lot of time, effort, and energy into certain things in your life, planting those seeds, wanting things to bear fruit, and I feel like you may have to have, you know, patience um, in order for things to get to the place of where you'd like them to travel i do see traveling here in the form of um possibly a car maybe even a plane for a select few of you but there's someone around you that you have some sort of success with you just may need to acknowledge that for a select few of you while others someone's turning their back because you know they want to pursue the things that bring them joy and happiness so it depends on where you are in this scenario four pentacles also means that you need to focus on your stability the foundation your home life um, so that, you know, you can have that happiness and that success that you're looking for. Let me get another deck. That way I can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. Okay, the Fool is here. Why? Because of the Page of Pentacles. So this is a time for ventures, for new things for you to prosper um, some of you may be thinking about going back to school, studying, doing something that involves a higher level of education. There are some people that have been loyal to you. Make sure that you maintain relationships with these individuals because there are people that are guiding you on your path. With the Page of Pentacles, this also means that 
um, there's going to be some sort of new offer that comes in in the form of a message, a text, an email. This um, new message that you get could be an offer from an individual around you that possibly has earth like you. They may want to have some type of new beginning, whether it's through a relationship, whether it's a business partnership, it really just depends. And with the Ten of Swords, you're going to have to put an ending to something once this new um, opportunity comes in you may have to make a decision between two paths meaning that you're gonna have to put an ending to one of them some of you have been through a lot um, possibly feeling betrayed stabbed in the back um, just overall tired and exhausted from the things that you've had to go through from a mental standpoint but like I said that is soon to be over it's just the residual energy of whatever you had to go through there are some secrets that are being kept from you these secrets though I feel like are good secrets things that are, that are gonna bring you happiness and success because the six of wands does come out twice with two different decks you're definitely in the energy of victory and success so anything that you start right now any new ventures any new hobbies um, they're gonna be successful you just need to believe in yourself and put in the time the effort the energy the dedication that is required eight of wands is here with the Nine of Pentacles, so most of you are single watching this. If you're not single, um, the individual you're connected to may just not be focused on the relationship. They have other things that are taking their time right now. It does not mean that they're not dedicated to you. It just means that you need to give your partner space to um, accomplish what they need to accomplish. With the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, is a time for you to focus on yourself, self-care, self-love, self-admiration, focus on your finances, focus on the things that are go going to replenish you with the Six of Swords to the Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords shows up twice. There is a feminine energy that you guys may be interested in if you're single. Whoever this woman is, they could possibly have a child. If it's a male, it's just a male that has a lot of uh, feminine energy within them. Um, this means that, you know, they're more based in the heart space rather than the mind. Yes, they're very intelligent, but they're also intuitive and loving. You may be thinking of either moving physically or just moving closer to this person because you know you're getting drawn to them you're just gonna have to make the decision of how you want to proceed when it comes to this individual but for the most part um, you are in some type of suspension stage when it comes to this individual if this is somebody you're in a relationship with you are in some sort of suspension either because you feel things are not going the way that you planned uh, maybe you had some type of like expectations when it comes to the relationship but also you need to remember expectations lead to disappointment so you just need to go with the flow and know that things will work themselves out as they should because we have six of cups here there is some sort of focus with your past possibly um, you could have options and you're gonna have to decide you know which option is best for you but you also need to be careful because I do see a lot of illusions and you not seeing things from a clear um, state of mind so make sure you're not overindulging in you know weed drinking any type of substances that can mess with your mental agility but with the six of cups there's someone from the past that's thinking highly of you there's also an individual that wants to come in and communicate um, it's going to be some time before they mu they muster up the courage to do so because I also feel like things may have ended on a bad note. Um, and whoever this individual is, you know, you guys had some type of conflict, arguing, ego trips, um, you know, disagreements, just things going on in the background that do lead to confliction. But I feel like it's not anything um, serious. It can be easily solved. You just need to communicate with whoever this person is. So from what I'm seeing, you guys are going to have victory within this week, success in anything that you decide to venture out in. There is an individual closely to you that you may be interested in. Um, but that person, you need, to, you need to be clear with them because the Queen of Swords is not someone that takes any nonsense or bullshit. So let's get you some best advice cards for my Virgo. We have progress, grateful. So progress came out in reverse. So there could be some type of like suspension stage that you're in. Maybe you're not seeing the progress that you wish that or you expect it to have. That doesn't mean that things are not going to work out. It just means that there is some sort of hiccup along the way. You could be possibly being shielded from something. There is a lot of green on this. So go out in nature, spend time grounding yourself and your energy. And also you need to shift to the energy of gratefulness because once you do put out that frequency, the universe, you know, there when you put out that frequency of being grateful of, you know, everything that you have, just even having a roof over your head, eating, sleeping, um, being able to have clean water, 
the universe responds to that type of vibration because it's a high vibration and you also need to focus on your well-being there could be some sort of emphasis with butterflies um, or just trees in general or wild animals um, so commit to your happiness whatever it is that makes you happy it's also going to involve the outdoors and nature so I feel like that is a important component to your growth so the more that you spend your time indoors and not in nature um, the more like disruptive and the more less grounded you're going to feel so that's something that you should also consider moving forward to make time for the outdoors and the outside because you have some sort of strong tie to nature and it makes sense it makes sense because you're an earth sign with the nine of cups know that any wishes that you want right now will be fulfilled you do need to put in the time effort and dedication for that to happen though um, nothing's going to come to you without any hard work because with the three of pentacles this is some skill that you need to sharpen um, some of you may be needing to go back to school, possibly getting a promotion, something going on with your job, um, with well-being. But try to stay out of your head and not overthink too much. Stressing, worrying does not change the outcome, so try to stay stray away from that kind of energy. And if you are being blocked in some type of progress, it's more like you're doing something to block yourself, whether it's fear whether it's low vibrational energy, whether it's addictions, codependency to other people in certain environments, certain outcomes, um, you need to release yourself from whatever this may be so that you can have the success that you need to move forward. So that's the end of your reading. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye!